is Annie here. I've put together a great video on Hill End and the Holterman Nugget. If you're not familiar with it, it'll be a great learning curve for you. And if you have heard about it, I'm sure you'll enjoy the slides and the old time photos from years ago. Anyway, get yourself a cuppa, cold drink, sit back and relax. Cheers. Hill End is located 86 kilometres north of Bathurst via the Safala Road or 75 kilometres via Turandale and has an estimated population of 484 people according to the 2011 census. The Raduri people were acknowledged as the traditional custodians of the land and they are of the Guana Totem. Hill End was initially known as Bald Hill and in 1862 the name was changed to Hill End. In 1967, Hill End was proclaimed an historic site and is managed by the New South Wales Parks and Wildlife Service to protect some of the buildings and artefacts around the village. Remnants of the old timers' presence is around everywhere, including the Chinese who made these pig ovens to roast pigs. And this is uh, one that's located near Hill End. These are some photographs of then and now of the buildings in Hill End and I'm indebted to the Hill End and Tamborora gathering group for these. These black and white photographs here I've obtained from the State Library of New South Wales website and they were part of the what's called the Holterman Collection. Gold was discovered in Hill End as early as 1852 and it didn't boom until between 1871 and 1874. The population escalated to around 8,000 people. The total gold mine during this period is stated to have exceeded 62,000 kilograms. Rich alluvial deposits were found in Golden Gully and Tamborora. The main two characters in this presentation are Bernard Holterman and Lewis Byers, and they were partners in a company called the Star of Hope Gold Mining Company that was mining a very rich vein of gold at Hawkins Hill in 1872. Bernard Holterman emigrated from Germany in 1858 and eventually teamed up prospecting with Ludwig Hugo Lewis Byers at Hill End. Byers was from Prussia which I understand is Poland and they were such good friends, they both got married on the same day and they married sisters. Lewis Byers married um, a Bathurst girl called Mary Emmett and they had seven children and Holterman married Mary's sister Harriet. Hugo Lewis Byers, known as Lewis, lived from 1845 to 1910 and died at Mount Morgan in Western Australia. 
Um, Holterman was elected to the council at Hill End and Byers was an alderman at Hill End and then the mayor and he was also elected to the New South Wales State Assembly in November 1877, retiring in November 1882. A friend entrusted to managing his estate defrauded him and he was bankrupted in 1894 and moved to Western Australia where he resumed mining. Beaufoy Merlin, born 1830, died 1873, was a photographer and he was in Hill End and struck up a friendship with Bernard Holterman and Holterman sought Merlin to take photos of the nugget together with Holterman and his partner Byers before it was sent to the crusher. And out of this connection, a collection of 3,500 glass negatives is now in the Mitchell Library at the State Library of New South Wales. Merlin died of a kind of influenza or pneumonia in September 1873, age 43. The most famous find was the Holterman Nugget. Strictly speaking, not a nugget, but a specimen. And it was discovered in the Star of Hope mine in 1872 with an estimated gold tent content of 3,000 ounces, then valued at 10,000 pounds and weighing 630 pounds or 153 kilos. This next shot is a panorama of central Hawkins Hill showing the Holterman gold mine and you'll see all the gold mines there perch on the escarpment. This next shot here too is the Little Wonder Stamper Battery at Hill End. If you visit Hill End uh, they have a museum there that has a, a number of artifacts and machinery and all sorts of information that will get you spending a couple of hours there. This next shot shows the weights of reef gold taken by Holterman from the Star of Hope mine and the total of that in the photo is 14,977 ounces. In December 1872 Holterman left Hill End and resided in his new home on Sydney's North Shore was called the Towers. He died on his birthday on the 29th of April 1885 of cancer of the stomach, cirrhosis of the liver and dropsy, leaving a wife, two daughters and three sons. The Towers was eventually sold after his death and became the Church of England Grammar School with the house and the tower encased in modern brickwork and essentially demolished. This here is the DPI fact sheet on Hill End Gold Deposits and it also includes the history of mining in Hill End and a map of the local area and I'll put a reference and a link to that in the about section of the video. Another excellent reference website is the Hill End and Tambarura Gathering Group and I'll put a link into that as well. Go to their site map to give you a full view of all the information you can look up. If you enjoyed this presentation, give me the thumbs up and the likes. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Cheers.